Blood of Blood Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video concerning the auctions. As you can see, finally, we know what are the last tanks in this year auctions. And we have the Predator and Vindicator, the M60, the Ice 3 Defender and the T28 Defender. So, out of all these tanks, which one you should go for? I'm gonna go from the Predator to the T28 Defender, it's gonna be easier this way. And I'm sorry if I'm a bit slow because uh, I had a, a good party, I gotta say. But still, let's focus on the uh, review of these tanks. So, first of all, we have the Predator Ultramarines. Is it worth it? Clearly, no. Let's face it, you don't want to have the Predator or the Vindicator, both of them. It's clearly not worth it because as you can see for the same price at the moment, you can have the Defenders, which are tier 8, will make more money and are, funny, are more fun and better to play. So I would say never go for the Predator and the Vindicator. Uh, maybe maybe if you're if you're a TD lover, you can go for the Vindicator, but that's clearly not the best tank destroyer at tier seven because for <laughs> between the Vindicator and the Elsing, there is no match. The Elsing is clearly better. So if you have a ch to choose, go for the uh, Elsing. But if you can have both, take both if you want. Next we have the M60. The M60, it's a bit, um, it's a bit weird. Why? Uh, the M60 is a collector tank. It's available only at the Christmas event during the Christmas event. Therefore, it's a quite rare tank. And I know a lot of people want it for this, but if you don't care about the collection and you don't, you just want a specific tank. Let's talk about the M60. It's the exact same tank than the M48 Pathan. Everything is the same. The only difference between the M60 and the M48 Pathan is that the M60 has just a better, a little bit of gun depression, that is, uh, gun depression, of gun dispersion, sorry, that is better, but that's all. All, 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 nothing more. The M60 is a copy past of the M48 Pathan, but premium. And remember one thing, which is important when you buy the M60. The M60 is a premium tank, but it will not make credits like a premium tank. It only have the premium tank status, but the credit coefficient is clearly not uh, the one from uh, from a regular premium tanks, for example, the Shifton or even the 30B. So if you want a tank to make credits at tier 10 and you, you want to choose between the M60 and the MX 30B, I would say go for the MX 30B because you will make credits in unlike the, the M60. And if you hesitate between M60 and the MX 30B, I would say go for the 30B because even if the M60 is a collector tank available only during Christmas time, the M48 pattern is the exact same tank. So, uh, that was it for the M60. Now, let's talk about the both Defenders tank. So, I3 Defender, I think you all already know the tank. It's a good tank. You have a good armor. You have a good uh, good gun. You, you have everything. A good mobility. I don't think I need to talk much about the I3 Defender. All you need to remember is that the tank has a good credit coefficient and you will make a lot of credits and it's funny. Uh, that's all. That's all. Uh, it's always funny when uh, when you have your three shells and you push uh, you, you push something, for example, in tier 7, and you just completely rip them apart. You just need to be careful with, with the Ice Free Defender because uh, the main problem is that the tank is team dependent when it's reloading, so never never go full alone. If you The best way to play the Ice Free Defender is to play in platoon with someone not playing an auto reloading tank because this way, when you are reloading, your friend can cover you. And that's the exact same thing for the T28 Defender. Wow, I, I see that the uh, T20 Defender are already, uh, already decreasing so so fast. They already sold 1.3k since uh, 3 hours. Okay, why not? Alright, so T20 Defenders, that's the same as the Ice 3 Defender, but here you will uh, have less, uh, less mobility, but you will increase the armor. 
Uh, you have a better armor than the T20 prototype. Uh, it's still, still, if people gold you, you're gonna get penetrated. But honestly, you can do great things with the T20 Defender. The, what I love about my T20 Defender is the velocity of the shells and also the fact that it's quite sustainable in the battlefield because you have a better reload than the Ice 3 Defender. Uh, I mean the whole reload when you're when we're talking about auto reloading. The time to put three shells back in the tank is not the worst. And honestly, it's uh, it's suitable for every kind of battles because you have the gun depression, so you can use it downhill. You also have a lot of armor, so you can go uh, you can go first. Uh, well, you will never be first because you're too slow, but you, you can try to go directly into the battlefield. You can uh, you can sustain a lot with your armor, so you can expect a lot of bounces. And you also have a turret. It's not fully traversable as always. That's the same as the T28 prototype. You can't put the gun backward totally. Uh, it's uh, like 180 degrees uh, on both sides but not that uh, no maybe a bit less uh, 90 degrees on both sides and 180 uh, top but it's a great tank so uh, that's all I have to say on, on these tanks. I wanted to do this video to highlight uh, the interesting parts of of each tanks for you to know which one to buy. If I had you know what if I had to rate tanks Without without talking about my personal experience, because if if I was talking about my personal experience, I will go for the M60 because I'm a collector, but I already have it. So uh, if I base myself on someone that wants to spend his money usefully, I would say between these five tanks, if you want to make credits, you go first for the T28 Defender or the Ice 3 Defender. The, it's the same. We can uh, we can place it both at the same uh, at the same rate. After uh, you should go for the M60, uh, not not only to make credit, but because the tank is, is somehow a collector. So you 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 would rather have this than the Vindicator or the Predator, because the Predator and the Vindicator are gonna come back in the shop, unlike the M60. It's coming back, but I mean in the auctions. Even if he, if the price is quite high, I gotta say twenty five thousand. But it, it's still uh, it's still the average uh, the the average price for uh, for a tier ten uh, when it was first released in the in the shop for gold. So uh, yeah, I would say defenders first after M sixty and after really if you if you don't know what to do with your money, you can go for the for the predator and the vindicator. But buy the vindicator first because it's better than the predator because the predator don't have gun depression because it's too high, so it's not really funny to play. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to talk much now. We don't need to. So, don't forget that you're not here to be better, but to be the best. Fury review coming soon. And have, of course, an extremely good year, guys. Pentoof, over.